Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 54 on the Mandalik. I'm John as always, and we're going to be doing some more Battle for Zendikar Swiss drafting, and it looks like we're going to be number 8, so we're going to jump right on in to pack 1, pick 1, and hopefully do not too badly. We've got a hero of Gomafada up front. Pretty darn good, pretty darn good. There is a Ruination Guide, there is a Complete Disregard, there's a Spell Shrivel. Uh, I like a number of these cards. Is Hero better than Ruination Guide or Complete Disregard? Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Hero's good. Ruination Guide's really good. Complete Disregard is really good. Coming back in this pack, we could maybe get the Angel, which isn't exciting exactly. Uh, maybe an out number, but probably not. Uh, that's going to put our people to our left in blue and black for sure for sure is hero all that good i know it's good but huh all right i'll take the rare i'll take the rare i'll take the ally i'll take the indestructible to the team and uh hope i get past some really good allies and hope that i don't regret passing the disregard or the guide Come on, prove my choice right. Uh, are you an ally? You are an ally. I'd rather go red-white than black-white, though. Uh, Benthic Infiltrator would have been really good with the Ruination Guide. Uh, Merc Strider would have been good with the Ruination Guide. Undo Champion, you're an ally. You are an ally. Maybe Blood Bond's just better, and I try to do the black-white life gain deck again. Because that went so well last time. Um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think maybe we'll go for it. I think maybe we'll take the the vampire. Seems like the best card in the pack to me. Yeah, let's take it. Um, Cinderglade. I assume you're not worth much. Let me check. Two whole tickets. Not all that exciting. Uh, Chasm Guy is a bit more exciting. It's an ally. It's a very good rally ally. There's also an out number here. Uh, so I may not have to go white-black, because there's also just no black here that I super want. Um, whereas Chasm Guide is really, really good, and goes really good with Hero of Gomavada. So let's Chasm Guide it up. Uh, McKinty Patrol, you are an ally. Desolation Twin, no thanks. Alters Reap. Yeah, I think we just take the Patrol here. This is a... A weakish pack. There is Smite the Monstrous, but I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, it hits stuff often, sure, but you know, you're just not always going to be up against big four power or better things. I, I like it more as a sideboard card, to be honest. Um, we're going to take the patrol here, stay on the white allies plan, and see how that goes for us. You're not an ally, right? You are not. Narcana Assassin is the black ally, but I don't know about that. We have nothing life gaining yet. And I like the Chasm Guide over the Vampire. Whiptail, not the best. Not the best. Stonehaven would go in the deck if we do end up going black-white. And it may begrudgingly go in the deck even if we're red-white. So I think we just take it. All right. Do we get rewarded? Um, No. Not terribly. Uh, we've got another McKinney Patrol, a Slide Runner, a Sentinel. Boiling Earth, eh. Um, Slide Runner, Second Patrol, Sentinel. I feel like I kind of want the Sentinel here. I can get another McKinney Patrol at any point in time, I'm sure of that. Same with Slide Runner. Still don't necessarily know if I'm red. Ghostly Sentinel will go in the deck. So yeah, let's take the Sentinel. Uh, Reckless Cohort, you are totally fine for what I want. Totally fine. Uh, inspired Charge, not a fan of it. Just not a fan. Uh, there's some blue-black stuff that would have been nice if I went on that Ruination Guide plan, but whatever. Reckless Cohort, get in the deck. Alright, that Spell Shrivel came back around. Incubator Drone. Oh no, this isn't my pack. I don't remember seeing Incubator Drone. Um, not much here for us. At all. That's a really late Incubator Drone, I would say. And I like Spell Shrivel more than I think most people do. Um, ugh, there's not much here for us. We could maybe try to splash green, but I don't like Grove Tender Druids. I don't think they're any good. Um, we're not going to play Kite Sail Scout at all. Um, ugh. I guess we take the Grove Tender, but I don't think I'm going to bother splashing for them. Not unless we get a Tadrua Warcaller or something. 
Lithomancer's focus, you're totally fine. You're better than the rest, so let's take it. Uh, volcanic upheaval for the sideboard? Why not? Why not? Angelic gift for the I hope I don't have to play it pile? Sure. Undo Great Horn seems totally fine. <laughs> Nobody wants the Desolation Twin. Great Horn, in you go. Vampire, I think your time has passed. I think I really want to try the red-white plan. I'd love to see a Resolute Blade Master. Um, Lantern Scout would be an awesome rare to open up. Just basically, more allies. Uh, Geyser Field, go away. Giant Mantis, go away. Don't need you blocking my Sentinel. And a forest. All right, pack two. Pack two. Give me something good. Give me something good. Gideon. I'd be fine with a Gideon. We get a From Beyond. Not the best. Foil Plated Crusher. Uh, so what do we have for our deck? Uh, Shatter Skull Recruit. That's all. <laughs> that is all. There's a lot of green in this pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six green cards, seven if you count the thicket, and eight if you count the tenders. That's in a oh, wow. Never seen a pack that stacked with one color. Um, From Beyond hasn't like gone crazy in standard or anything, right? Let me check the price on that. 14 cents. No, it has not. Uh, yeah, I mean, Shatter Skull's the only thing here for us, and when this pack comes back around, there's a Focus or a Looming Spires, so... Shatter Skull, I guess, but that pack sucked. Come on, better pack. Sheer Drop. Seems fine. Seems totally fine. There's a Shadow Glider that I probably will not get back around. A Valakut Invoker that maybe I'll get back around. Might prefer the Predator, to be honest. But let's take the sheer drop. Serene Steward, you are an ally. Kozilek Sentinel, you block like crazy, but eh. Yeah, let's take the steward, I think, just to be a bear and an ally. Not really for the life gain. Shenanigans at all. We're not doing that this time around. Yeah, let's take that and probably get the patrol back around. <laughs> hey, planar outburst. I think I'm pretty darn okay with that. I mean, it, it, it's not quite what the Allies deck wants because I don't necessarily want to be sandbagging my creatures. But, I mean, it's still just a massively powerful spell. Way better than Molten Nursery and Volcanic Upheaval and Looming Spires and Cliffside Lookout for my deck. So, Planar Outburst, in you go. I'd certainly like to have far fewer 5-drops. If I could get a bunch of 3s and 4s, that would be nice. Some more 2s as well. All right, we get ourselves a Core Entanglers, which seems pretty fine. It's another 5-drop, which is not the best, but, I mean, I'm not going to take a Fortified Rampart for this deck. Bladed Gorge would be good, but I think the Entanglers is just better. And please let that be my last 5-drop. Please, please, please. What do we got? United Front, Tandem Tactics. Or a looming spire. So United Front's gonna get me two core two core ally. Um, I don't think I'm gonna splash green. I haven't seen a war collar. There's a stalwart actually, but uh I mean do I wanna try it? Do I wanna try the three color allies? I mean I don't have that much red just yet. Fine, I will give the three-color deck a try. You all know how much I don't like it, but I'll give it a try just to see how it goes. Lifespring Druid, I guess, helps in that. Um, I mean, Undo Champion is the ally I really want, though. So I think we're going to take Undo Champion instead. Uh, another Lithomancer's Focus, or a Sandstone Bridge, or a Sideboard Boiling Earth. Um, we're at 12 creatures. 15 main deck. If I'm going to go the three colors, I could take an unnatural aggression. Yeah, let's take the unnatural aggression. 
Um, infuse with the elements. We've already got a Grove Tender that I guess maybe we're going to splash. Uh, snapping Gnarlid. Maybe the Thicket is just what I want, just so I can uh, get my mana out. Yeah, let's do the Thicket. Felidar Cub, Giant Mantis, Shatter Skull. I need lower drops for the moment, so Felidar Cub it is. McKindy Patrol, you're an ally. Get in there. No idea if this is going to work, but we'll see. We'll see. Pack 3 needs to get me uh, a Blade Master or something, I think. Or at least the first striker, the uh, Core Blade Whirl. Well, we get another Fertile Thicket or a Cliffside Lookout, which I guess is fine. We're not going to play Nursery. We've already got a sideboard Volcanic Upheaval, so Lookout it is. Lookout. Well, the upside is we only need two more cards for pack three. But I'm not a fan of the three color. Ready to be proven wrong, but we'll see. Hey, Blighted Gorge came back around. Don't mind if I do. Kind of hurts to potentially put colorless land into a three color deck, but whatever. Last pick, Tandem Tactics. Seems fine. Seems totally fine. And come on, pass me that land. Can't be that hard of a decision. There we go. Mountain. Yay. Oh, did I double click you? There we go. <laughs> I always get nervous when I think I double click a card in draft, and apparently I don't, because if I did and it lagged, I might just make my next pick blind, which is never fun. But come on, pack three. I've got... What, like one card that I need, but I'd obviously like to replace some things, uh, get some more removal, fancy stuff like that. An entire pack, though, to uh, fine-tune my deck. And the deck looks okay-ish at the moment. Not the best, but okay-ish. All right, we get a Radiant Flames, which would be for three, but also would kill most of my stuff. There's a Sheer Drop, an Ondu Rising, another Stalwart. Radiant Flames isn't worth anything, right? Well, it's surprisingly worth a buck fifty. Um, I'm so out of standard right now, I don't even know what's uh, uh, valuable and good or not. Um, but I think I'm looking at the Ondu Rising or the Sheer Drop. Sheer Drop might just be better for removal. Uh, Undo Rising would be awesome if I had Double Strikers or, or War Callers or anything like that, but I don't just yet. So, Radiant Flames, I mean, I already have a Board Wipe. Yeah, let's take the Sheer Drop. Outnumber, I like you, I like you quite a bit. Uh, also a Gideon's Reproach, but I think I like the Outnumber more. So we're going to take that, and we're going to throw away Stonehaven Medic, because I don't like you. All right. I wouldn't mind just getting three really good red and white cards and getting rid of the green. Because I'm not sold on doing that. Not for those three green cards, anyways. If I get a war caller, maybe, but that would be another five drop, which I don't want. So, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hey, Desolation Twin, again. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants two of you. So there's the Blade Whirl I wanted. That's pretty good to see. We're going to take that over a Rising of Smite, a, a Medic, a Sentinel, or a Slide Runner. In you go. And what are we going to take out for that? Are we going to start ditching the green? I think we're going to start ditching the green. Go away, Grove Tender. All right. We get a Courier Griffin, a Stone Fury, an Outnumber. Um, I think I'd be pretty okay with another out number, to be honest. I really like it. I'd be okay taking out the tandem tactics for it. Out number, in you go. Well, no, let's take out the unnatural aggression for it first. Hey, hey, there he is. Resolute Blade Master. Absolutely what I want. 
Another five drop, which is annoying, but uh, in you go, and out you go, stalwart. So many five drops. Oh, it's not great. Not great. Um, I don't even really want to drop any of them. Like, I guess I could drop the sentinel. Oh, that's a lot of five drops. Well, at least with this, we can probably get away with 23 lands. No problem. So that's something. That is something. All right, we get a Castigator, a Sure Strike. Um, I think I like the Castigator in exchange for the Tandem Tactics. Get back up to 16 creatures. Plus he's an ally. Yep, Castigator. Goodbye, Tandem Tactics. Or do I want to just get rid of one of the other creatures. 15 creatures seems a little bit low. Uh, hmm. I mean, tandem tactics will probably function as removal, right? Sort of. A little. Ugh, all my five drops are important-ish. Um... Oh, I'm, on, I'm at 23 cards. Of course, I don't have to cut anything just yet. I'm still on the 22 card plan. Uh, totally fine for now. What do we get? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm not going to play Gift. I'm not going to play Whiptail. I'm not going to splash for any of that. I'm certainly not going to play Slab Hammer. Um, yeah. Nothing of any concern. Giant Mantis doesn't concern me because I'm not going to be flying. I mean, it's still a good ground blocker, right? So maybe that's just the card that I hate out. Uh, I'd have to very specifically end up paired up against the black-red person, if there is a black-red person for that to matter. So yeah, let's hate out a Mantis. And there's nothing sitting around on my sideboard, right? Oh, there's that Blighted Gorge that I want to play. Let's throw that in. Nothing else sitting there, though. Well, that's a late complete disregard. How is that even there? Um, I'm not going to play any of these cards, so I think I maybe just hate out the disregard because I don't want to see that. That hit everything in my deck outside of uh, Hero and Champion and Shatter Skull. Yeah, get out of there. Yeesh. And nothing really going on here. We've got a Pathway Arrows. This still hasn't been found to do anything, right? You have to pay two and tap it to deal the damage. There's no natural death touch creatures. I guess there's Malak here familiar, but that's about it. But still, not good. Uh, Gift, I've already got one if I did want to play it. So I'm not super afraid of any of these cards. Maybe the Stalwart. It can be annoying if you are up against the three-color deck and they do triple converge it. So yeah, let's take the Stalwart. Um... Not much going on here for us either. I could take the Rampart if I decide I need to go a little bit more controlly. Seems better than anything else. Yeah, let's take it. Not main decking, though. All right, we've got another Sentinel, Medic, Upheaval, Plummet. None of these concern me. None of these are going to get played. So let's take the extra medic in case I decide I need two of them for some reason. Maybe two of them and a fortified rampart to go controlish. Hey, Courier Griffin. You're totally fine. In the deck you go. In fact, I might even like that over the Sentinel just to lower my curve slightly. Yeah, let's do it. Carrier Thrall, Natural Connection, Mortuary Mire, not much here. Let's take the Thrall, I suppose. Inspired Charge, I guess. Not going to play it. But I'll play it over a uh, Bladed... Whatever that was. The green one. Bladed Woodlands? Let's say Woodlands. Angelic Gift. Get out of the deck. So that's going to be the deck, I think. Uh, a little bit light on red, but that's okay. Um, maybe I actually would have liked that Evolving Wilds, but 
I'm pretty happy with the complete disregard hate out. Um, yeah, it seems okay. I definitely do prefer blue red and blue black in this format. So I really strongly wanted to just take that ruination guide or that complete disregard. But we took the hero of Gomafada. We're in red white allies. We managed to get the uh, super late resolute blade master. So feels decent. Let's add some lands. 10 6 sounds about right. We do have much more white than red. Uh, the outnumbers should be a little bit later. Uh, Reckless Cohort's the only thing I really want on two. Seems good. In you go. 17, 16, 7. We've got a couple of uh, removal, a couple of burnish removal, and a sweeper if need be. Seems good. I hope we can do well with this deck. I'll see you guys for match one where uh, hopefully we rally. <laughs>